Hello, I'm Professor von Schmohawk, and welcome to Why You. In the last lecture, we saw that any fraction can be converted to a decimal number by simply dividing the numerator by the denominator. The result of this division will be a decimal number which is equivalent to the fraction. This decimal number will either terminate, meaning that it can be represented with a finite number of digits, or it will have one or more digits which repeat forever. In this lecture, we will see how to convert any terminating decimal number back into a fraction. Remember that each digit in a decimal number represents a value 10 times that of the digit to its right. Now if we take any decimal number and multiply it by 10, each digit is shifted one column to the left. We have increased the value of each digit by a factor of 10. This is also true when there are digits to the right of the decimal point. For example, the decimal equivalent to the fraction 1 8 is 0 0.125. If we multiply this number by 10, each digit is shifted one column to the left. If we multiply by 10 again, each digit is shifted one more column to the left. And if we multiply by 10 a third time, there will be no more digits to the right of the decimal point. We will have an integer. So by multiplying our decimal number by 10 three times, which is the same as multiplying by 1,000, we have produced an integer which is 1,000 times the original number. If we then divide the integer by 1,000, the result will be equal to the original number. So 0 0.125 is equivalent to the fraction 125 one thousandths. Now, using the techniques we learned in our lecture on reducing fractions, we can simplify this fraction to 1 eighth. So we have converted the decimal number 0 0.125 to the fraction 1 eighth. We can use this same technique to convert any decimal number with a finite number of digits to a fraction by multiplying it by 10 enough times to produce an integer and then dividing the integer by the same amount we multiplied by. If the number we are converting also has digits to the left of the decimal point, we just separate it into an integer plus the digits to the right of the decimal point and then convert the digits on the right into a fraction. We can then combine the integer and the fraction to create a mixed number. So far, we have seen how to convert any decimal number with a finite number of digits to a fraction. In the next lecture, we will see how to convert any decimal number with infinitely repeating digits to a fraction.